All right, Brad. Sharpening butter knives. Coming out in three. Hi, I'm Brad Buckner. Had a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I sharpened a butter knife a long time ago. Took me about four minutes. Sliced the paper. The same kind of paper that I use at all the shows. It doesn't really slice the paper. Uh, it cuts the paper. It is a butter knife. It's going to end up a little bit thick because butter knives are thick. So is this one sharp? Well, it better not be or I'm going to have a mess here. Okay, it's hard to find a butter knife that isn't serrated, but you know what? I know I can cut those serrates off. And uh, yeah, you can look at it. Um, Okay, it's not cutting. I'm going to hold still right in the sun. All right, it is a butter knife. Now we look at it from the side. Yep, it's totally a butter knife. Actually, it's kind of a nice knife. Um, so anyway, here in just a second, I'm going to start the timer, and I'm going to sharpen this knife to cut my paper like I do on the videos and show you how it works. So there's the sharpener. It's a long handle. I always talk about reshaping a blade. The only time I ever use the V is to reshape a blade. You have to reshape a butter knife or you're not going to be able to use it for a knife, cut paper, things like that. So I'm gonna draw the knife through the V, then I'm gonna finish it off with the open face and it'll look like this, okay? So here in just a few seconds, gotta make sure this thing stays awake. So I've got my timer set here on the uh, cell phone. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna draw it through there. I'm gonna reshape the blade. Then I'm going to take the uh, straight edge, I'm going to brush the wire edge off the blade, then I'm going to cut some paper. So, we are going to start, okay, where's the, there it is. We're going to start the timer here in just a second, and we're going to get this done. It's going to take less than four minutes, I'm pretty sure. All right, so, five, four, three, two, one, go. And we just draw it through there, and we let the carbide cut. You can probably hear the little vibration, chatter noise. That's cutting off the serrated part of the blade. And the chips are just flying. This is probably faster than a lot of your little belt sanders. Although you give me about an 80 to 100, 120 grit belt sander like the work sharp that I love dearly. And I'll make a butter knife sharp in a very short time actually. So we're at uh, 45 seconds. So we'll just work on it here for a little bit. I'm in no big hurry. I have four minutes. You'd be amazed how much of that knife blade I can take off of there in four minutes running it through a cross V carbide. I want to reiterate when you sharpen your knives, hunting knives, pocket knives, down around 10, 12 degree bevel, please don't do this to them. Only crappy kitchen knives or butter knives that you're trying to prove a point with. Okay, we've got to be getting that bites. <laughs> That's sharp. So just like this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one of the corners and I'm brushing the blade, just like that, just like this. All right, we're going to do a quick test here. We're in a minute and 41 seconds. Got to get my paper out. It's kind of wet. Don't want to get the paper on the wet table. I'm wasting time right now, as you can see. I should have had the paper on top. All right, where's the actual paper? For a butter knife, that's pretty sharp. I'm not going to waste too much time right now. Let's go ahead and work on it. So just like this. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and cut some more of the knife off. And we're at two minutes and 28 seconds. Oop, paper's going to get wet. I like doing these things outside where you might be when you have to do this. Don't like to do them inside necessarily. All right. I know one thing, it's sharp enough that I would never put it to my throat like I did a little while ago to my neck. And then light.
for as thick as the butter knife is. See, the V is going to put it somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 degree angle. That's almost too thick to really slice paper. But you can see that that's actually cutting paper pretty good. And right now I'm at 3 minutes and 24 seconds, well under the 4 minutes. So let's hurry just a little. And I'm going to bear down on my sharpener just a little. It's really hard to get the serrated edge off that blade because the V-notch is going to kind of follow it. And we're getting down there to where we're just about ready to quit and my paper's wet. <laughs> People say, yeah, you had to get the paper wet to cut it. That's sharp enough. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Watch the videos. Take care. Have a good day. Since I've been playing.